Good morning. Good morning and good morning. Uh, this is Prophet Wes. And I want to um, briefly, if I can, maybe five minutes or so, I want to um, talk to the people who, and I understand this particular type of um, position or feelings, motions, mindset. Um, um, you're very apprehensive. I want to talk to the person and to the people. You're at a place where you are... You're tired of people promising you things. You're tired of people telling you that they're going to do certain things for you or they're going to uh, love you or they're going to get this for you or y'all going to do this or y'all going to do that. And you're at a place where you're tired of people telling you stuff. As women, you're tired of men telling you lies. You're tired of it. And as men, you're, you're tired of women telling you lies. You're tired of the games. You're tired of the hustle. Just as a person, you're tired of the, the, the uh, church folk. You're tired of religious people saying one thing saying one thing and doing something else. And you're frustrated and you've shut down. You're just tired. And it's a, a difficult place to be at because when you keep hearing the same thing over and over and over again, the moment that you hear it again, for the first time, something in you shuts down. And it causes you to have an issue with trust, an issue, issues with men, issue with women, issues with everything if it's not you. And so this is where you are right now. Uh, you have a problem. You're tired of people promising you stuff. And you're at a place where you don't want to hear another promise. And unfortunately, this is the unfortunate thing. People have come to you people have come to you that you don't know that has given you prophetic words or words of wisdom words of knowledge giving you things that that you know that you hadn't talked to them you hadn't had no conversation with them but because you've been so hurt and because so many men and so many women have lied to you now you've so shut down that you even shut down at the sound of hope at the sound even if god would speak to you you don't want to listen to nothing. You're tired of promises. You're tired of things are being said to you that is going to happen. And then you find and you discover that it doesn't happen. You're tired of being told and being promised that something's going to happen and don't happen. And so now you're shut down. You're shut down with words. You want to see action. You're tired of words. You're tired of words in the church. You're tired of words with the pastors, the prophets, the evangelists, pastors, the teachers. You're tired of words. And who can blame you? If you've been abandoned, if you've been uh, disappointed over and over again, how can you not have a certain position of how you are feeling and thinking? It's normal to feel this way. You don't want to trust. You have trust issues. And it's, it's understandably so. But I got good news to tell you that God said you can trust him. And God says that you are healed. The Bible says that. The Bible says God said he can mend your heart. He can give you trust again. Matter of fact, he said, take my yoke upon you. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. God said, take his yoke. See, what you're carrying is too heavy. That's why you're at the place where you are right now because it's too heavy. And you're worn out and you're worn down. You won't change, but you don't know how to get to change because you've been, your mind is so shut down so much. Is that it's become like you it's almost like you're in quicksand, or it's almost like cement has uh formed over your mindset toward toward having hope, toward having trust. But God wants you to trust again. Yeah, I know men trust uh, uh, uh fail you, women fail you, but God will not fail you. The Bible says that He's not slack concerning his promises. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the Son of Man that he should repent. Has he said it? Shall he not do it and shall he not make it good? God will make it good in your night life. People have made it bad. People have dropped you. People have abandoned you. People have walked away from you. But God will never walk away from you. So can you trust him? Can you trust him today? He can fix it. Let him rebuild your trust. See, because God has promises. As a matter of fact, God has a promise for you today. There's a miracle there's a deliverance, there's a breakthrough that God wants you to have today. Let him 
earn your trust? Will you give him a chance? And simply it says, God help me, my heart, my situation, my predicament, what I'm facing, what I'm dealing with. God, I want to believe. God, I want to trust, but I don't know how to trust. God, I want to believe, but help mine unbelief. Is this you? Come on, trust him today. Will you? God bless you.